So how do our cells get energy? Where does it all take place? Well, remember that the process of turning food into usable energy in our bodies is called cellular respiration, and that in eukaryotic cells, this takes place in the mitochondria. This process is taking place in trillions of mitochondria this second. In this lesson, you will learn the structure of the mitochondria and should be able to draw and label one by yourself when we are through. Known as the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondrion, mitochondria for plural, is enclosed by two membranes. The outer membrane, as I'll indicate here, and an inner membrane. The inner membrane has many folds, as you can see here. Okay. These folds are called cristae. This membrane provides a large surface area inside the mitochondrion for turning the bonds in glucose molecules into energy. For a little more detail, remember that the in the presence of oxygen during aerobic respiration, glucose molecules are broken in half in the cytoplasm outside the mitochondria. This process is known as glycolysis. Then, these half of glucose molecules enter the matrix or the middle of the mitochondrion, which I'll label here. This middle of the mitochondrion or the matrix is important because it's the location of um, the citric acid cycle or the um, Krebs cycle. So let's indicate that here, Krebs. The last step of cellular respiration then takes place in what's called the inter Mem the inner membrane and the space between. This is, this, this is the space right here between the outer membrane and inner membrane. And the electron transport chain happens right in the inner membrane through protein channels. So in summary, the five parts of the mitochondrion you should know. The outer membrane, the inner membrane, this intermembrane space, these folds called cristae, and the matrix or the middle of the mitochondrion. Check out our other videos on the processes involved in cellular respiration for more details.